Okay, everybody. So today we are going to talk about cardiac muscle cells. And here's some points about cardiac muscle cells. First of all, cardiac muscle cells, where do you think they're found? They're found only in the heart. Okay, which makes sense. Otherwise, it wouldn't be cardiac muscle cells, right? Um, they're involuntary. So if you don't believe this, what I would like you to do is stop your heart for about 10 seconds. And only when I say that, the first thing people do is they hold their breath. Well, holding your breath is not stopping your heart. So if you want, go ahead and hold your breath and see if your heart stops. It won't. It won't. What would happen at the most is you would pass out and then you'd start breathing again, wake up with a headache because you've cut off the oxygen supply to your head. All right, here's another thing about um, heart cells, is heart cells are branching. And I'm gonna draw a picture of a heart cell in a minute, and you'll, you'll see what I mean about this. All right, they're striated. They actually have lines that are in them. Um, oops, sorry, this should be an eye. Heart cells are striated. Okay, so they have actually lines that go through them. Um, there's two reasons for these lines. The first one is the dark parts are basically myofibrils, which if you remember, myofibrils are the thick part of, um, of, of a, a muscle cell, and of a sarcomere. And the lighter part is the actin, which is the thinner part. Okay? Um, and also, they, are, they don't fatigue. If your muscle cell, if your heart cells fatigued like your muscle cells do, then your heart would eventually stop beating as you, um, as, as you, as you worked out or ran or did anything like that, your heart would start, start beating. You know how like when you're working out and you're running and your legs get tired? Well, if, that, if your heart got tired, you'd basically um, have to stop. And so it would cause a lot of problems. So there's some things about the heart muscles. So now next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at, um, I'm going to draw a picture of what the heart cells actually look like. Heart muscle cells. Okay, so what do cardiac muscle cells look like? Well, first of all, let me draw some. As you guys know, I can't really draw. I'm going to draw some like this. All right, and then I think I'll draw another one that goes like this. I said, you know what, I'm gonna use a different color for this one. It's still the cells, I'm just doing this so it helps distinguish between the cells, the muscle cells here. So you got that, and then I got another muscle that goes like this. And let's make this one branch in. It's gonna look something like this, all right? And it's gonna branch. All right, and then um, let's put another one in here. I'm going to make this one go this way, and it's going to be like this, and then we'll go like this. Um, all right, and so let's say these are our muscle cells. Ooh, I don't like the way that looks at all. So these are my muscle cells, like this, okay? So these are individual cells here. So what's going to happen is like we said, these are striated. So to give you an idea of what striations are, um, they're little lines. If you've ever gone in a meat market, you will actually see um, striations on some of the meat, and they go through the whole muscle. Okay? And then what happens, I didn't mention this on the, on the, last, the la last part, but you actually have something called intercalated disc. Okay, so an intercalated disc. What an intercalated disc does is it, it holds muscles together. Remember, M stands for muscle. 
Okay, so it's going to hold my muscle cells together. And it's going to pass impulses from one muscle cell to the next. So um, they pass impulses from one muscle cell to the next. And that's what the intercalated discs do. Okay, And so um, we can put some more in here. I just want to use different colors. So this one I'm going to put, here's, here's my striations. I'm only drawing the striations. I'm only drawing the striations in a little area. You got to realize this goes out through the whole muscle. So these are my striations here. I am going to make, here's some more striations. And remember the striations are made up, the, the dark part is made up of thick filaments, which are myofibrils. The thin part is made up of actin. All right, and then let's go ahead and put, um, being that we're using brown and black, this is going to be my intercalated disc again. Okay, and then I would have more striations. All right, and remember, the intercalated disc is responsible or it helps hold these cells together, but it's also responsible for um, passing electrical impulses that come down the muscle from one side to the next. Now, the other thing is, is as we said, these are branching. So the reason you have branches is it also, it also helps spread the impulse from the muscles too. Okay, from one cardiac muscle, muscle to the next. Okay, so you can see we want to spread this around, right, throughout the heart, because the heart needs to be all at once. Um, well, when when that parts do, I mean, the atria contract all at once, and then the ventricles contract all at once, which we which we've talked about before. Okay, so for the most part, there is, um, that is our um, cardiac muscle. So remember, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.